Care Blazer. Today I want to share three stages of dementia caregiving that every single caregiver will have to go through if they want to find themselves in a place where they finally feel like they are having caregiving success. Now, there's three stages not everybody gets to the third stage. Some people stop at stage number one, some people stop at stage number two, some people make it to stage number three. The most important thing to know is that every single caregiver can make it to stage number three if they want to. So this is what I'm going to share with you today and I think this could be one of the most important videos you could ever watch if you find yourself wishing caregiving was easier, that it wasn't so hard, that you felt more comfortable in learning how to redirect somebody and managing those difficult dementia related behaviors. If you find yourself wanting any of those things, this is going to be such an important video for you. Okay, let's get started. So stage number one is what I like to call the unknown stage. For every single dementia caregiver, you will have to enter in first the unknown stage, which means there is so much you don't know. I mean, how can anybody know what to expect and what they're going to go through when they become a dementia caregiver? You've never been in that position before. And even if you have, you haven't been in that position with the person you are caring for. Dementia changes, the person changes. As soon as you get used to something, it feels like something is changing. So we have to understand and get to a place of acceptance that you will be in a phase of unknown. Now let's think about this. This is the stage most caregivers are at, but most caregivers don't want to be at. Because when you are in the unknown, this means there's going to be some struggle. This means there's gonna be confusion, overwhelm, not knowing what to say, not knowing what to do, realizing that some of the things you're saying and doing are making things worse. That is the unknown. Imagine your very first time when you were trying to learn how to drive a car and you had no idea. I mean, at some point you didn't know which was the gas and which was the brake. You didn't know how to accelerate and turn at the same time and look in the mirror and where's the horn and where to put the key. All of that was new. That is the unknown stage. This is going to be the most overwhelming stage for any caregiver. Basically, when you don't know how to do something, things will be difficult. So this is really important to really understand because if you don't know something, and it's going to be difficult, that means by nature, dementia caregiving is going to be difficult. There are going to be hardships and challenges that you are going to go through. And if you are having thoughts like this should be easier, it shouldn't be so hard, you are going to continue to struggle. You are going to continue to stay in the unknown phase. Most caregivers give up in this stage because they try a tip, they try an approach, they join something new, and the minute they get some sort of pushback, they get some sort of delay, some sort of frustration, they quit and they take it as a sign that nothing is ever going to work or that things can't get better or that they're just not cut out for this or that their loved one is just especially difficult. That is the worst thing you could do and you will never advance to the other stages if that is your mentality. Can we all just give ourselves some grace and understanding that you're not supposed to know everything? How could you? This is not something we're all born knowing. The best example I could truly give is when you were an infant, you were learning to walk and in order for you to walk, you had to fall a thousand times and each time you fell you started to build up muscle that eventually allowed you to make your first steps now the difference between you now and you when you were an infant is that when you were an infant you didn't have all the chatter and the thoughts going on in your mind about oh my gosh I can't believe you've fallen 200 times so far oh my gosh you're never gonna walk you've never walked before how could you expect to walk in the future the difference is thankfully we didn't have that chatter in our brain when we were an infant but we have it now that chatter is going all the time now and you have to be careful that you don't let that chatter stop you from moving forward if you find yourself thinking I'm not good enough I can't figure this out this is too hard please red flags should go up immediately if you want to advance otherwise you'll just end up staying still you'll just end up staying in the unknown stage and here's the thing learning approaches that work 
learning how to go through a program that helps, learning how to apply certain tips and practice redirection. All of those things are hard in the beginning, but they're easier by the end. Giving up because they're hard in the beginning just guarantees it's going to be harder in the end because you never make that progress, okay? So that's stage number one, the unknown stage. It's my goal that every single dementia caregiver get out of that stage, work themselves through that stage. And in order to ever work yourself through that stage, you're gonna have to be willing to let it be difficult, be willing to let it be hard, be willing to be uncomfortable, and be willing to not be good at it. Nobody is born being great at this. Once you get through the unknown stage, you are going to enter something that I call the progress stage. This is where you're going to start seeing some progress. You're going to realize, oh my gosh, I didn't snap back as quickly as I normally do. Or, oh, I thought of a new creative way to redirect them the next time they try to do something unsafe. Oh, I thought of a new way to respond to them when they ask to go home, when they're already home. You're starting to brainstorm. You're starting to get creative. You're starting to try and apply new approaches. And you're starting to notice some progress. It just feels maybe a bit awkward. It's not really really second nature. Sometimes you still struggle with feeling like, oh, is this the right thing to do? Is it not? You might find yourself slipping back into old ways of communicating and old ways of interacting. It's progress, but it's a little bit awkward. It's a little bit rusty. You're learning. And that this is actually a great stage. Every caregiver has to go through all these stages. But if you just got to this stage, that's great. You're making progress. This is really good news. And the third stage, which is where most caregivers want to be is what I call the smooth stage, the smooth sailing stage. It doesn't mean things are always smooth and it doesn't mean things are always easy. It just means you know what to do now. Even if that means I can allow myself to feel bad right now, I just lost my patience, it's okay, I know how to forgive myself. Oh, I had a tinge of guilt for doing something that I like, that's okay, I know how to work through it. You have confidence in your ability to get through any single dementia caregiving challenge or obstacle that comes your way and you're not going to throw in the towel and give up the minute things get rough. You know that there are difficulties. You know those difficulties might change in the future. In fact, they likely will. And you go forward anyway. And these are the care blazers who, when you see them on my channel, you see them talking about being able to take a vacation or being able to ask for help when it was difficult or being able to finally get to the bottom of why their loved one went and shower or bathe. And so many people look at that successful care blazer and they use that against themselves and think that for some reason they just can never have the same results when that's not true. It's just that they're in a different stage of caregiving. They might still be in the struggle phase, in the unknown phase, or maybe they're in the progress phase. But so many people look at the successful smooth sailing care blazer and expect that somehow they just got lucky, that their situation is easier, that their loved one must be more mild manner, more easygoing, when that's not necessarily the case at all. It's just that those care blazers who you are seeing as successful they were willing to grow through those challenges. They were willing to continue and keep forward and trying different approaches and tips, working on their mind management the whole time in order to grow through that awkward stage, to grow through the stage of the unknown, to get to the point where they're finally, where the majority of the time, it feels like smooth sailing, where even when they're facing something difficult, they know how to get through it. Now, I want to ask you, what stage do you think you are in? Do you think you are in stage stage one where it's this unknown, it still feels like so much of a struggle and it feels like more days than not, you just want to give up because you're not seeing any progress? Or do you think you're in stage two where you're feeling that you are making progress, it just doesn't really feel natural, it feels kind of forced, it feels mechanical, and you slip back into your old way of being many times? Or do you feel like you're in stage three where for the most part, you think things are about as smooth as they can get and you know how to work through any challenge or obstacle or difficult feeling that you're facing. I would love to know, leave it in a comment below. Now, if you are somebody who is in stage one or two, either the stage of unknown or progress, and you want to get to the smooth sailing, but you're just not sure how to do it, you're feeling pretty frustrated in getting there, you feel like you've been trying lots of tips and approaches and none of them are working, I would invite you to watch my free training below on how to care for a loved one with dementia without the overwhelmed dread and confusion. 
In that class, I'm going to share with you three things to keep in mind to help you get to that place. And I will also extend an offer to you to join the care course where you could work with me personally on managing those difficult emotions within yourself and also helping your loved one go through and experience some of the difficulties they're experiencing so that both of you can spend these last chapters of life with some peace, with some joy, and you can look back on this caregiving journey knowing you made great decisions and that you did everything you possibly could for your loved one without running yourself into the ground in the process. That link is free, it's below the video you can click on. But Careblazer, my hope, my goal for you is that every single one at a bare minimum gets out of the unknown stage, gets out of that struggle stage that will keep you stuck and will not move you forward. And at a bare minimum, get to that progress stage. That is my goal, and I firmly believe every caregiver can get to the stage of smooth sailing. All right, I am sending you so much love. Bye. Also, Nico gets a belly rub for every person who subscribes from this video. So if you haven't already, click the red subscribe button. It's totally free, and Nico says thank you very much.